Why are Chris and Liam Hemsworth six foot three, but their brother Luke is only five foot nine? That is a six inch difference. That's the difference between 190 centimeters versus 175 centimeters, a total of 15 centimeters of difference even though they have the same genetics, the same DNA, and the same parents. How is that possible? Chris Pratt is six foot two, but his brother Cully is only five foot 10. That's a four inch height difference. Ashton Kutcher is six foot two, but his brother Michael is six foot flat and gets absolutely mogged. And even Will Smith, Will Smith is six foot two, but his brother Harry is only five foot 10, another four inch height difference. These aren't small differences. These are massive height gaps in between siblings. So what's going on? Why are some brothers so much taller than others? Is it just genetics or is there something else going on? In this video, I'm going to break down exactly why this happens and more importantly, what you can actually do about it. So here's the thing that most people don't understand. Genetics and epigenetics are two completely different things. Genetics are what you're born with. You can't change it, it's your DNA. But epigenetics, well, that's everything else. That's your sleep, that's your hormones, that's your your diet, that's your environment, that's your lifestyle. Epigenetics is pretty much just how your behaviors and your environment can actually change and affect the way your genes work without altering the DNA sequence itself. So when you see Chris and Liam Hemsworth at six foot three and their brother Luke at five foot nine, despite having the same parents, the same genes, the same genetics, the same DNA, all that sort of stuff, that's not just genetics, that's epigenetics. And if you look back to when they were growing up, Chris and Liam Hemsworth wanted to be Hollywood actors. They wanted to be superheroes. In order for that, they need to be very healthy, they need to be strong, they need to be in shape, they need to focus on their diet, they need to get good sleep. All these things which are needed to get in peak physical shape and in order to be a Hollywood actor. Well, Hollywood superhero. And you can clearly see that they took care of themselves much better than Luke did. Luke did not want to be a Hollywood actor. He did not want to be a superhero, so he wasn't training for that. You can even see that he was a little chubbier when he was younger, and you can just safely assume that he wasn't on as strict of a diet, he wasn't eating the same foods, he wasn't getting the same sleep, and he wasn't taking care of his body the way he should have. And as a result, he is six inches shorter at five foot nine and has less bone mass and he did not reach his genetic potential. And here's the crazy part. Most guys are actually 5% shorter than they should be. Meaning if you're five foot nine, you should be about six foot flat. Or if you're five foot 10, you should really be closer to six foot two. Most guys are leaving height on the table. And why? Because you're self-sabotaging yourself. You're eating processed junk. You're not sleeping enough. You're eating terrible foods that aren't supporting bone growth and development. You're not getting enough sunlight. You're not active enough. And your hormones are completely out of alignment. They're just cooked. And all of these things are adding up to make you much shorter than you really should be. 5% may not seem like a lot. You might be running at 95%, but that 5% could be the difference between you being five foot nine and six foot. And this is actually exactly what happened to me. From the age of 16 to 18, I did not grow a single inch. I was not growing. I thought I was done growing. My mom was five foot five. My dad was close to five foot 10 and I was already five foot 10. So I thought that was just my max genetic cap. But when I turned 18, I wanted to grow taller. I wanted to go on the higher division basketball team. And I started doing research and I found out that there's actually more to height growth than just genetics. And as a result from what I learned and what I'm going to teach you in this video, I ended up growing four inches taller after the age of 18 from five foot 10 to six foot two. And one of the first things I realized was I was self-sabotaging myself too. I was eating awful processed foods. I was not sleeping well. I was getting five to six hours of sleep per night. I was not optimizing my hormones. I was overweight, so my hormones were already cooked. And overall, I just wasn't taking care of my body. And as a result, I wasn't growing and I was just staying stagnant. And then from fixing those things, I grew four inches in just under a year. That's not genetics, that's maximizing your genetic potential through fixing epigenetics. Now, the best example of two brothers who optimize their epigenetics are the Kelsey brothers. Travis Kelsey is six foot five and his brother, Jason Kelsey, is like six three, six four, which is only a one inch difference. That's nothing crazy. That's what you would expect between two brothers. And again, if you look how they were growing up, they both wanted to be professional football players. If you know what it takes to be a professional football player, you need to eat well, sleep well, get a lot of nutrients, train hard, be in peak physical condition, and have hormonal optimization. They both deeply cared about their health, and as a result, they've reached their genetic potential. So what are actually affecting your height? What are the epigenetic factors? The first thing is going to be your diet. Your diet influences your bone growth and your development. It's either going to allow you to grow taller if you're eating right, or it's going to completely stunt your height growth. If you're eating a bunch of processed foods that contain no nutrients, it's going to contain tons of seed oils, lots of processed sugar, then you're going to directly hurt your gut health, and your gut health controls everything. It controls your nutrient absorption, it controls your hormone production, it controls your height growth. So if you're not eating proper whole foods like red meat, 
fish, dairy, fruit, eggs, then you're not giving your body the building blocks it needs in order to grow. The second thing is your sleep. 90% of your growth hormone is released during deep sleep, meaning if you're only getting five to six hours of sleep every single night, you're going to be directly stunting your head growth. You want to ideally aim for eight to nine hours of sleep, giving you full six sleep cycles. This is quite literally a non-negotiable if you're trying to reach your genetic potential. Third is sunlight and vitamin D. You need about 30 minutes to an hour of sunlight every single day, and this is because vitamin D is crucial for bone development and calcium absorption. Without it, your bones won't develop properly. Fourth is hormonal optimization. If you're producing too much estrogen and not enough testosterone, then this is what's going to cause your growth plates to close prematurely. So if you want your growth plates to close at 16, 17, 18, then be very estrogenic but if you want your growth plates to stay open into your early 20s then make sure to keep your testosterone levels naturally high even the hormones like growth hormone and igf1 are crucial for bone growth and development and if those are also off then you're not going to grow to your fullest potential so it's very important that you optimize your hormones through fasting sprinting walking eating clean, sleeping a lot, and avoiding endocrine disruptors. Fifth is going to be your water quality. Most tap water is contaminated with estrogen from birth control pills, meaning if you're drinking a lot of tap water, you're going to be getting a lot of estrogen, and then this is going to speed up that process of your growth plates closing early. So either get a reverse osmosis system like I have, it's a couple hundred bucks, but it works wonders, or just drink spring water. And lastly, stress. I hope you know this by now, but stress is going to massively increase your cortisol levels, and stress is the silent killer. So make sure to try to remove as much stress as you can in your life, get outside in nature, train hard, just try to keep your mind clear. Stress will quite literally stunt your growth and stunt the rest of your life. All of these together is what makes up your epigenetics. That's what's making you five foot nine instead of six foot. That's what's keeping you short or making you tall. Now, here's the important part. This will only work if your growth plates are still open. Your growth plates typically close in between the age of 18 to 21, some earlier, some later. So if you're in between the age of 14 to 21, then your growth plates should hopefully still be open, which means this is your window. This is where you can actually optimize your epigenetics and reach your full genetic potential. But if your growth plates are closed, you're done growing, let's say you're 21, you're 25, maybe even you're 35, then there is still hope to get taller. There is a way to get one to three inches taller by fixing your posture. And my next video will be breaking down exactly how to do that. It's actually an experiment where I test it myself. And this is because 90% of people suffer from postural issues, whether that's just spinal compression or it's anterior pelvic tilt, forward head posture, bow leggedness, knock knees, flat feet. There's so many things that could be just stripping away height from you. So stay tuned for that video. It might even already be out by the time you're watching this. So here's what I want you to understand. You're probably shorter than you should be. Most people are 5% shorter than they should be. It's about fixing your epigenetics, locking in and actually optimizing what you can control. You can't change your genetics, but you can make sure you reach your genetic potential. And again, look at the Hemsworth brothers. Chris and Liam are both six foot three, but their brother Luke is six inches shorter because he did not optimize his epigenetics. If you contrast that and look at Travis Kelsey and his brother, Jason Kelsey, they both locked in, they were focused on their health. And as a result, they reached their genetic potential. And this is no different for you. Take it from someone who is in the same boat from you, unless you're one of those people who watch my videos who are like six foot five and just want to become absolutely giant well then it doesn't really relate but if you haven't been growing a lot really take a look at these six things that are stunting your growth it truly changed my life it allowed me to grow taller and i've helped so many other people grow taller from just doing this so many people i see in my youtube comments are like nick i grew three inches nick i grew two inches nick i grew four inches and i love to see it i love to help you guys out and this video truly gives you like everything you need in order to grow taller i have other videos i have my community as well but other than that you can actually see real results and if you want personalized guidance if you want to know exactly what to eat exactly when to sleep how to optimize your specific situation and you want to be a part of a community of like-minded individuals all trying to transform themselves and feel free to check out my school community i help every single person directly one-on-one -on -one every single day i help you optimize your diet your lifestyle your stress your hormones everything you need in order to grow taller and reach your genetic potential and i also host weekly live zoom calls every sunday where you can pop in and ask me questions live and i also do monthly giveaways to keep you accountable and to keep you motivated so if that sounds interesting to you and you want to reach your genetic potential if you want to fix the root cause of your issues then feel free to check out my school community no pressure at all though i will still be uploading YouTube videos here. But other than that, thank you guys so much for 15,000 subscribers. It means the world to me. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay goaded. Peace out.